Are you sitting comfortably? Good. Because I have a little tale to tell. A tale of buried treasure. Hmm. Now, if you're followers of Escape to the Chateau, or the DIY series, or other French vlogs, you may have heard this story before, because we chateau owners have all got a tale to tell about buried treasure. Now, there may be the odd variation, but the story is basically the same. And the story usually starts with an elderly person, a local, maybe a former worker at the chateau or the estate, maybe a family friend of the chateau owners. Who knows? But this elderly person will usually contact the chateau owner and tell them the story of the buried treasure. And the story basically goes like this. It's 1940. The Germans have invaded the low countries of Europe, Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, and they have their sights firmly set on France. So the French population go into panic. They want to hide their money, hide their treasures. Some fled, took it all with them. But the big estates of the chateau owners, well, they couldn't take it all with them. And so starts the tale of a thousand chateaus, the buried treasure. Hmm. Yes, and we had a recent encounter locally. And somebody said to us, you do know about the rumour, don't you? The rumour? What? The rumour about the treasure? Oh, you know about the rumour? Yeah, yeah, I've heard it somewhere. The one about the Germans? Yeah, yeah, that one. So you know about the treasure? Yeah, yeah, we've got buried treasure somewhere. Do you know where the buried treasure is, by any chance? Well, it's only a rumour, that's all. Maybe it's in the tower. That was the rumour. You have buried treasure in the tower. Good, because I thought it might be the well, but you know, it's not a very good place to put it, is it really? A watery hole. It's not going to do the treasure much good. Mm. So, the tower it is then. Thanks. Would you like another bottle of wine? Mm. See, that's the story. We chateau owners, we all have the same story to tell. But there's one problem with that story, and it's blindingly obvious, and nobody ever seems to mention it. You see, if all these chateau owners before the war buried all their treasure, well, what happened after the war? See, in this case, the family returned, as they did most properties in France. Just because the Germans took them off them, they didn't get to keep them, they'd fled. So the owners returned to their homes. So, if you buried your treasure before the war, and then after the war returned, then wouldn't you dig up your treasure? Hmm, I think you would. I know I would. So that's why all these tales of buried treasure are just a load of old pony. It's a load of nonsense. And I, for one, am not going to fall for it. Although the Germans were in this house, we have the SS signatures on the back of our boot room door. Nah. That's the point, isn't it? There's just that little chance. It might be true. So, if I don't believe in treasure, why have I just drilled a hole in this wall? Well, basically, if I go back, back into the hallway, we obviously have the spiral staircase we're now in the tower now normally these spiral staircases are self-supporting so for example this middle column here so basically each step sits 
on the previous one. So completely supported in the center and then around the outside the other end will be buried into the wall. So solid as anything, no need for any other support. So why is this wall here? Now you saw me put the flame up against the hole and it flickered. So there's draft coming through there. So perhaps this wall isn't that thick and could be taken down. But why was it put there? Was it because it was just a cold and drafty space? Pointless sort of space? So they thought, well, let's brick it up. Possible. Is it because for some reason the staircase needs support? Possible. Or... <laughs> Right, let me have a look. Um, you can see up here there's a corbel and up here there's another one. So they seem supported quite nicely. Um, there's this arch on the door. Um, you can see there's evidence of repair because you can see this dark mortar. So is that a problem? Is that a clue? Was there a problem here? Did they feel they needed extra support because effectively it's only the arch holding all that up? But I think the clue possibly lies in the lower steps. So let me get a bit closer. Let's take this first step here. You can see this dark line running through and then above it on the next step and then on the next step, and so on and so forth. Now, this one in particular, there's a patch just here, and there's a patch just here. So it could be that these aren't complete stones. They've, um, they've got cracks in them, they've broken, or they've, they've identified some weakness, and therefore they've had to support them. So if we follow around, it get a bit dark in this spot. I um, don't know whether you'll see it. You probably can't, but just there, there's a big patch of some sort of mortar. But as we come around, all these cracks disappear. So we now have this step, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, this one, this one. So all those, they're actually all complete. There's no cracks, there's no mortar, there's no filling. So effectively, this step is the first complete step without any sign of any cracks or weaknesses. So this one, this one, and all these, they should be self-supporting, which begs the question, why is the wall there? And why it's so important to us is because if you can imagine this wall taken away and this staircase would be going around, around to underneath me, it would really open up this space um, and it would make it just more characterful as well and it would make it more befitting of this area. Um, you know, it's a, it's a 15th century tower, this. And while some of these stones may not be, you know, it would be lovely if we could open that up. And so we've always wanted to, to knock this wall down. I, I'm not going to knock it down, not without some serious um, structural engineer's advice. Um, you know, I don't know, I'm not going to trust anything, my judgment or anything on that. I'm not a structural engineer, I'm not going to pretend to be one. Um, but I, I can't see any reason why it couldn't be taken down. However, if, they've, if this whole area is solid, um, that's going to be a major job. But I just think it would be lovely to open that up. And Susie is itching too as well. So that's why I've drilled. It's not for treasure. It's just to have a look at see what's there. I need to now get my inspection camera and let's have a look at what we've got. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's just rubble and stuff behind the solid wall. So if the wall's maybe that thick and the rest of it's rubble, take the wall down, get rid of the rubble, and you're there.
Um, so let's get the camera, let's have a look. Just a channel where I've probably got the um, drill bit dragged through, a yeah, bit of debris. Let's get over that. Okay, so that looks really as though I'm still in the in the wall. Really, I haven't broken through to the other side. Um, let's have another look. You never know. I shall just turn the camera down a sec because it's a bit bright. It might be better because it can be too bright sometimes. So. Nice clean hole. A bit of debris, but that's fine. Okay, there's a seems to be a little void up there on the top left. Um, don't know. No, so that still seems to be the same material. I haven't broken through. Um, and that was a good 18 inches in the end. So it's not really telling me anything other than I've got a solid wall that's at least 18 inches thick. So that's not really told me a great deal. It's just told me that I've got a wall that's maybe 18 inches thick. I could have just been unlucky at that point and hit just a tough bit. Uh, could have been, if there's rubble behind, it's compacted over the years. And therefore, when I've drilled, it just looks like I'm drilling into the same wall, but in fact, I, may have, I might have gone through, but I didn't feel anything when I was drilling. So it's not really very conclusive, but I do know that I'm probably at this point about 36 inches from the inside of the outer wall. Um, so I've only probably got another in 18 inches before I start touching the inside of the outer wall. I can feel a little draft coming through there though. I can feel it. So there's air getting in there somewhere. So, I think I need to drill another hole, maybe higher up. Because um, if there has been rubble that's compacted over the years, there may be a little void a bit higher up. So I think it's worth drilling a second hole. nice clean round tunnel from the drill bit obviously so what i'm hoping for is to see the end of that which it looks that's like coming up now and that is going into really rough stuff so you know that round tunnel has disappeared and that was roughly where i broke through the wall and then into the rubble so i'll just back up so let's have a quick look slowly yeah let's see a bit rough rough yeah all these little rough bits of um stone yeah that's that's i've definitely broken through into rubble here just cut yeah see even more there these aren't very big these look like boulders on the screen but obviously they're just small bits this remember this hole was a drill bit size just go back in no okay i'll come out let's see if i can find that round there it is round hole again see 
just changes and that's roughly where I broke through so that's good I'm happy with that that's telling me I haven't got a massive solid thick wall okay well the plot thickens um, so that's roughly the second hole is roughly 12 inches and there was definitely a difference in the sound and the feel of the drill so I've broken through somewhere and I've carried on for quite a few inches past that and it all looks a little bit like rubble and stuff. So I don't know what that tells us really. We've got a wall that's not that thick there, but possibly thicker here. Um, I think it's gonna need a, a structural engineer to have a proper look at it to give us that def definitive opinion on it. So for now, doesn't look as though it's gonna be our wonderful feature being able to see right under the staircase. But it's it's possible, you never know. We'll, we'll have to get somebody in to have a look. So, did we find treasure? No. Were we ever going to find treasure? Of course not. Nobody ever does. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you someday where Susie will be on board again. Bye.